Welcome back. This is going to be my technical analysis of the S&P 500 the next three trading days. So on Monday, we saw a big spike in the S&P 500. And this was due to the fact that scientists had discovered um, medicine that could help COVID victims with the disease. So um, uh, the patients that are on ventilators, this medicine will help uh, 33% of those uh, patients. And patients that are not on ventilators, it will help around 50% of those patients. So that is fantastic news, and that's also why we saw this big spike in the S&P 500. However, this is not a vaccine. And of course, people are working on finding a vaccine. And, and until we find a vaccine, we can't expect this market to just explode. Um, good news, like, uh, like the thing that we got on Monday, of course, will have an extreme positive effect on the S&P 500 and also other indicators. But uh, since then, we have, um, we have lost some of those gains. Um, and we are currently in the same area that we have been in for a quite a long time now. And I do expect us to continue this level uh, between... Uh, 3,000 to around 2,050, uh, 3,250 level. Um, so there are three things that can happen. Uh, one is that we break these resistance uh, barriers here and we go go higher. So we fill this gap, we clear the, uh, the all-time highs and we just continue uh, higher. Um, I don't expect that to happen anytime soon uh, because there are still quite a lot of industries that are uh, extremely hard affected by the COVID, uh, uh, COVID um, uh, sickness. Uh, for example, airlines, uh, cruise ships, hotel industry, restaurants, and so on. All of those uh, industries will have a horrible earnings released in, in the coming months and that of course will affect uh, the um, yeah, S&P 500 negatively. The other scenario is that we stay in this range. So we stay in this, um, this, uh, this square and continue um, going up to these highs of 3,250 and back down to around 3,000. So we'll continue uh, trading sideways until um, we get more clarity of where the economy will be going. The third scenario is that we retest these lows. So if I put my Fibonacci retracement, um, we can see that the 50 moving average is right around this area. And we can see that the 23.6 uh, Fibonacci retracement level is just about the 3,000 uh, level. So this is, a, is a, a, a massive support level as this is a, is a massive resistance level. So that's why we can imagine us just trading in between these two lines for quite a long uh, time. However, if the cases of COVID increase significantly, which they are doing at the moment, we may see uh, uh, the market uh, retest these lows. For example, um, the lows of 38.2 uh, 38, uh, 38 um, around here is around 2,800. Um, and if it gets really bad, we can imagine us uh, retesting this level of 2,700. That is also a possibility. But what I do expect is that we will continue uh, in this, um, this area here between 3,000 and 3,250 for uh, a few more trading sessions, maybe uh, a few weeks before we get more clarity. Of course, the uh, Federal Reserve um, has played a 
um, extremely active role um, in the market recently. And if this market would go further down, for example, to the 50, um, 50 Fibonacci retracement, uh, you would see the Fed uh, continue with its exponential, with its monetary policy, and they will try to push this market higher. I can imagine also if they if we go down to the 50 uh, moving average, they would also try to to uh, push this market higher. Because we saw on Monday, no, not Monday, but it was last uh, Friday, that the Fed went in and basically um, pushed the market way, way higher when we were basically on a downward trajectory. So... Um, in the long term as well, uh, there is the U.S. presidential election, and that will also play a significant role. I cannot imagine um, the United States administration wanting this market going further down in the midst of an election. They will do everything in their power in order to keep this market up at um, at a neutral level or try to increase this market most likely try to increase this market in the long run so if we go and look at the technical indicators we can see that the rsi is at the moment it's it's kind of it's flat it's not oversold not overbought the same goes for the macd there's not much happening here we did have a, 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 a crossing the signal line here and we also saw this massive uh, drop in the S&P 500 when this occurred. Uh, but I think the stochastic is probably the best indicator at the moment of where this market is going the next few trading days. You see that uh, stochastic crossed the signal line here indicating that we are going to retest this level. I'm not expecting that this level to break, but we will retest it and then go back and probably just continue in this um, area for uh, for some time. Um, volatility is um, has decreased since um, since the Thursday and Friday's uh, session, um, but well, yeah. If we we get higher, I'm pretty sure that we will have sellers come in and try to push this market down and we'll just continue in this range. If we were to, to break the 3,250, then we would try to, to uh, fill this gap. And if that gap is filled, then there is only the, the highs that is um, playing a resistant level. And that if that breaks, we will go to uh, all-time highs. So, good trading. Uh, hope you will support this channel by, by subscribing and uh, good luck.